Hey y'all, Chrissio here again from Go With Chrissio YouTube channel, Chrissio Show, you know, social media, all that stuff. You can go follow, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But I'm chatting with y'all again. And I had a very interesting and aggravating, disturbing kind of little email. Now, let, let me talk to y'all a little bit and just kind of tell you why. And I'm sitting y'all down here on my, on my desk here in the engineer's room. And I uh, log on here to my uh, computer so we can have a little bit more extra light. There we go. Let there be light. So, the email said, um, hey, you know, Chrissy, we would like to do some virtual lessons with, with you um, for our... Um, teenage child. Okay. No problem. Got gotcha. you. And in the email, it says that, well, we know that our baby child, teenager, um, can't sing. How do you know that? Can you sing? Do you know that they can hit notes or whatever? But we're going to try. Well, Okay, for sending an email, thank you for sending an email, and thank you for saying that um, they're interested in doing like some virtual lessons and virtual session time and just kind of see where this um, child is at. Um, but please don't discourage people right off of the start. Like, oh, you can't sing, you can't do this, you can't do that. Stop telling people what they can't do because... Even if you can't, say, hold a tune or you can't, you know, really sing all that well, people like to try new things and they like to do stuff. And sometimes music is very therapeutic for everybody. Lyrics will say a lot to you in a song. So be mindful of those lyrics and things that you guys are listening to, okay? Because um, they'll make you happy, sad, and kind of crazy. But don't discourage children um, just because you think that the child can't sing. Let a professional evaluate that and see if they have some potential. Because everybody um, at the end of the day has some potential and they all have something that they can do. Now, music might not be the thing. You know, singing might not be the thing. But playing an instrument might be, you know. Um, writing lyrics. I mean, I've run across some of these, you know, kids and teenagers and even adults. And I'm like, they come in with these notebooks full of all these wonderful, powerful lyrics. I'm like, yeah, you need to do something with that. So don't discourage children and, and don't discourage anybody, okay? Everybody has something that they can do. Music might not be your thing. Something else might be your thing. Because don't discourage people. We should always be kind and encourage folks into doing whatever it is that they feel like they want to do. And um, and let them thrive. And let them enjoy it. And let them um, have something that they feel like that they're good at, that they can excel in. Because you wouldn't want somebody saying, oh, well, I... I, I like, you know, I like my mom and my daddy, but I'm going to send you this little thing. And I know that, you know, my mama tries to play the piano, but it sounds like crap. Mm -mm. Let's don't do that. Let's don't beat people down. People play and they sing and they get their emotions out through music the way that they do. It is a form of art. Okay. And um, let's don't discourage folks and, and don't say right off the bat, well, they can't do this and they can't do that. Because I'll tell you something, at the studio here, we don't use the word can't or I can't do this, I cannot or whatever. We don't use that contraction word because can't means you won't. And I want you to try. I want you to try. Do something. Do something. If you got joy and passion and a dream of doing something, I want you to do that. And I encourage you to do that because you should. So try anything you can, and I hope y'all have a beautiful, wonderful, blessed evening, and we'll come back to this tomorrow, but yes, I am going to work with that child, and I'm going to see what this child's got.